It's the Wednesday before BlizzCon and I'm currently in a hotel in Anaheim in California. Now Monday was a travel day. from the United States. I think it took me about 15 hours or so to make my way from my home in the Netherlands all the way over to California because it's pretty much on the other side of the planet. But all things considered, it actually went rather smoothly. So I'm here for about a week and two different events. The very first one is the StarCraft II Community Summit that actually took place yesterday. Now sadly, I'm not really able to tell you very much about it because it's an event where Blizzard essentially explains all of the plans that they have for StarCraft II for the upcoming year of 2018. And I'm actually really excited for it and actually one of the big things that's still gonna be happening this year and it will be announced by the time that you're watching this video is the fact that StarCraft 2 is gonna go free to play Woo! seriously though that's awesome Now sadly, I can't really tell you all too much about the summit because a lot of the stuff that was announced is currently not public yet. However, afterwards we went to the Cheesecake Factory and pretty much everyone that you know from the StarCraft community is present right here in this very hotel right now as well. A lot of pro gamers, a lot of the casters, a lot of the content creators and whatnot. But really, the portion sizes here are absolutely enormous. I mean, I wanted to get cheesecake as a dessert. Turns out I couldn't really fit anymore. This is the local 2017 Blizzcon vlog. <laughs> so yeah, I went to the Cheesecake Factory without actually getting cheesecake. Now the second reason why I'm here, you may have already guessed it, is indeed going to be Blizzcon. This time around I'm actually working with the Blizzcon broadcasting team. Basically what it means though is that besides having the official streams for like all of the esports events as well as all of the official panels with announcements. They're also gonna be allowing me to go around the venue with a camera crew and essentially interview a lot of developers, go backstage on the main stage, talk to fans, check out the cosplay, hang out at the Dark Moon Fair, and essentially bring that like BlizzCon feel to the live stream as well. So hopefully it's gonna go well, I'm really looking forward to it. But regardless, today is the very first rehearsal day. I gotta be there in about an hour from now. I haven't had any coffee yet though, so let's go outside. I've never actually been inside of the venue before, before the event starts, but look at it, it's absolutely massive. And we're a couple of hours later right now and it is exactly what I thought it would be. I'm sadly not allowed to film inside of the venue just yet. They were still busy setting it all up and I saw a couple of unannounced projects already. It's so cool. Anyway, I'm just hanging out at the hotel right now. I had a quick nap, but look at this place. I don't know if you can properly see. I assumed I would be very jet-lagged at this point as there's nine hours of time difference between the Netherlands and California, but it's actually not all too bad. Yes. <laughs> and then all of a sudden it's midnight. It's been a fun evening though. Once again went over to the Cheesecake Factory. This time around with Neep, Wardy and Scarlet. Then I hung out at Winterstream for a little while. It was actually probably still live at this moment. But it's really time to go to bed. And then all of a sudden it's the Thursday afternoon. I just came back from the convention center after a long day of rehearsals. Obviously tomorrow the very first thing of BlizzCon is going to be the opening ceremony with Mike Morheim, which will essentially cover all of the major announcements. So I'm really hyped for that. But tonight there's gonna be a pre-BlizzCon party also thrown by Blizzard. So I think I need to get ready for that. You know what's interesting about this event though is that a lot of the announcements that are being made tomorrow I'm not actually allowed to show you beforehand. The same goes for the party tonight they specifically mentioned in the invitation that they would prefer it if there were no cameras present. By the way, remember when I said that jet lag wasn't really bothering me? <sighs> yeah. 
All right, here we go. Two and a half hours before the opening ceremony. Two hours until the opening ceremony. Since I have a staff batch, I don't actually have to wait in line, but if I'm not mistaken, the doors are just about to open. One hour before the opening ceremony. Like Ten minutes five, until the opening five, ceremony. Five seconds before this It feels so good to be back at BlizzCon. And there's another thing I want to mention about StarCraft II. You have helped make it one of the best-selling, highest-rated PC games in history. And your support is why we continue to create new content for it. We are always looking for ways to help you get new friends into the game and bring old friends back as well. So I'm very excited to announce that we're making StarCraft II free-to-play. Now, the coolest thing I get to do up here is debut a new cinematic. It brings back memories of sitting around a table, gaming with your buddies, delving deep into dark dungeons. You signed up the best, you're on a great quest to find the mighty mother load. To your left is a tunnel. Stinky goo lines the floors and walls. We're introducing a totally new single-player mode. We have the most beautiful mountains. Oh my god! Oh my god! We are bedeviled by the mysteries of creation. Science can reveal the truths that lie behind these many questions. As a friend of mine might say, Bring me a loser! <laughs> so, that's it. You're leaving us. I have been called. I must answer. It is a great honor. Personally, it's a I love chocolate. And I love cookies and cream. Yeah. Cookies and cream is actually my all-time favorite dessert. But I stand, understand that for some of you, your favorite flavor is vanilla. the expansion, show the logo, and then later, much later, we would show you the intro cinematic. <laughs> this year is a little bit different. It's easily 
one of the coolest gaming events you can go to though. It's a lot of fun and people are actually really friendly. It's actually really cool. Like apparently they could fit about 100,000 people in this venue, but they purposely only sell out about 35,000 tickets. Meaning that there's a lot more room to walk and try out the games and all that. It's really nice. All right, so we're a couple of hours later right now and I gotta say my segment went really very well. Man, you know what I'm saying? We right here on World Star. Hey! <laughs> Nice to meet you, man. Nice to meet you, Yeah, yeah, yeah. I'm up. Okay, let's. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Now, the tour that I did of the StarCraft stage will indeed be available on the All Access stream. Anyway, that's essentially all of the commitments for my day done. Alright, so next up is Bisu versus Jado right here at StarCraft. <laughs> That is me back at the hotel right now, absolutely dead tired after the first day of BlizzCon. Not gonna lie though, the amount of announcements here today were absolutely awesome. I mean, first off, obviously, StarCraft 2 is going free to play. There's a new co-op commander, there's a new co-op map, I got to try those. They're a lot of fun as well. Then obviously there's new Heroes of the Storm stuff, there's a new Hearthstone expansion, a new World of Warcraft expansion, as well as a new trailer, a ton of new Overwatch stuff as well, and really like, Essentially every single eSport that Blizzard does is crowning their world champion tomorrow and of course I'm really excited uh, for StarCraft 2 in particular. But on top of that I got a couple of different segments that I need to film. After the event concludes there's gonna be a Twitch after party as well so there's a bunch of awesome stuff happening. But I really need to sleep right now because I'm really tired. Alright, so it's time for day two of BlizzCon. Now yesterday I didn't really have a chance to look around the entire venue. So I think today we'll start with a bit of a walk. Interestingly enough, the event seems to get bigger every year. I mean, this is the third year in a row that I'm here. And it's just massive. Hey look, it's Jeff Kaplan. So this right here behind me is where the world champion for StarCraft 2 will be crowned today. I'm not entirely sure how much time I'm gonna have, but I'm really looking forward to it and at least checking out some of the matches. Easily one of the coolest cosplays here at the event. couple of hours of recording, I am now mostly done. That means that I get a chance to watch the World Championship Finals right now of StarCraft. I'm kind of running over because I don't want to miss any more games. This is Jim Greenlings Row! end of another year of BlizzCon. So I just watched the grand finals of the StarCraft tournament this year. Turns out Rogue is indeed the new world champion. Definitely well deserved. Now I'm not gonna lie, I was personally cheering for Sue to win it all just because you know, he's won like seven second places in a row. But regardless, absolutely awesome series. I actually got a great photo of him as well. All right, so there's two more things happening tonight. First off, we're gonna get Korean barbecue, and secondly, there's also a Twitch after party. <laughs> Burning lust for revenge pushed him to and beyond the limit where normal men would fall. And all of a sudden, hours of bowling later and probably a little bit too many drinks, it is already the end of this trip. It's currently 3 in the morning, I gotta catch a taxi in a couple of hours, so I should really catch some sleep. Well, the 
cabello. Track no. down the maniac behind all this.